Hello and welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, we are back with your Twin Flame Soulmate Love Readings for February. And this is going to take you into March, okay? Um, you guys, as I always begin, thank you so much for your love and your support, especially what I experienced when I was doing the new moon readings for the sign of Aries. Oh my God, I still to this day do not know what was going on. But after going back and thinking about everything, we are in Mercury retrograde. And so therefore communication is messed up. There's a lot of things that are kind of off balance and off centered right now. So I can understand where the... Um, extreme emotions were coming from. But thank you so much for those who left kind words for me and helped me to get through that moment. If you didn't get opportunity to look at my apology video for the sign of Aries, please go back and look at that. You guys, just a little information about this reading. You can apply it to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Hello to our cross watchers. Okay, don't forget that the messages will flip flop. Okay, so if it doesn't relate to you, it will relate to your partner. There's no time limit on these readings. It could have happened three months ago, could have happened today, could happen in the near future. Don't forget to join our Patreon, you guys. Oh my God, we are starting to grow over there. So thank you so much for those who are supporting that. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button if the video or the reading resonates with you. And even if it doesn't resonate with you, but you feel like it'll be beneficial to someone, please, by all means, um, like the video. And then don't forget, we do private readings, okay? And information pertaining to that can be found below. All right, these are the decks we're going to be using today for your Twin Flame Soulmate Love readings. Uh, we will do an extended on these readings, but uh, we'll give you enough information as well uh, to try to understand where the mindset is but for those who want to dig a little deeper we will have that opportunity for you okay and information pertaining to that can be found below as well all right now on to your reading hello my leos okay let's get right into your reading and you guys uh, just know i will be doing an extended on this tilt this up just a little bit yeah i will be doing an extended on this as well um information about that can be found below remember the first card out or cards will be messages from you and the second card or cards out will be messages from your partner now do keep in mind that these energies can flip flop okay so if it doesn't relate to you it could very well be relating to your partner right now all right Let's look and see what's going on with the Leo gang. Right, Holy Spirit, divine creator, universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo as it relates to the twin flame soulmate relationships from February through March 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo? Oh my. All right. messages need to go for. Okay. Okay, Leo. So let's see what's going on. First message. I knew then, if I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. Okay. You are an angel. You inspire me. So what we need to find out is what has been found out. What does the person know um, that has kind of changed them? Even though this person, they consider this person an angel and um, they are inspired by this person. And the other message says, I can't handle your words right now. This one has come up a lot since we've been doing these readings. Okay, Leo's. Let's see what is going on. Okay. What's going on? Okay, we got the devil showing up already. Okay, 
Holy Spirit, divine prayer of the universe, what message you need to go forth for the sign of Leo as it relates to twin flame soulmate relationship for February through March 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo? What do our Leos need to know? What do our Leos need to know? more messages for the sign of Leo. has been showing up a lot too. Okay, my Leos, you have the Ace of Wands, Six of Pentacles, the Hangman, oops, the Hermit, Five of Cups in Reverse, Four of Cups in Reverse, the Chariot in Reverse, and your overarching energy is the Six of Cups, okay? Um, you do have an angel number that's coming through that is quite powerful. You have a Six here, you have a Six here, and you have a Twelve here with the Hangman. So please make sure you look up 6666. You all, and also that number is not a, a demonic number. I know it has been used, you know, in several different forms that has scared people half to death. But it, it also has a very pleasant meaning as well. Okay, so make sure you look up that angel message that is coming through for you for 6666. And you also have another one, uh, 4567. So make sure you look up those angels and angel numbers. You could be dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or that's you showing up in your own reading. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be dealing with the Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer here with the Chariot. I'm also here. Okay, so you could be dealing with those signs or they're taking on the energy of the sign. All right. Okay, let's get right into it. This is a major change, okay? This also could represent new uh, inspiration. It could represent you um, having the desire to want to create, or this also could mean that change is in your hands, okay? You have the power to change something that is uh, occurring right now. And this is being coupled with uh, the Six of Pentacles, which means giving, receiving. So whatever is being changed is being done in a very generous way. Okay, so this is a relationship that is changing. Um, someone is being trying to be as very kind and generous as they can in doing this change. If it's a breakup, somebody is trying to be, um, you know, as kind as they can in transitioning. Okay, um, with the hangman being coupled with this. This is having wisdom. This is understanding that you have spiritual and mental power to get things done. Um, understanding uh, another perspective on things. You know, what you already need is within you. So someone could be at the realization that they have all that they need, right? To make this change, this powerful change and being kind to others. But this means that you're receiving a lot of wisdom and not only wisdom, but you have gone within for clarity. Somebody has really has given, has gotten an understanding of what they need to do. They, they have a personal truth now about what really needs to take place. And then these two being coupled with the five of cups, this is acceptance. This is acceptance. Uh, this represents moving on. Okay. So it seems like somebody really understands what they need to do and what what they need to get out of a relationship and they're in their accepting this with their own personal truth because this card represents choosing happiness okay so someone has choose has chosen happiness but then all of that is being at the, the final one is the chariot and this is where it gets kind of kind of iffy okay this is where it gets kind of iffy because this represents the delay it also could represent a lack of control. It also could, also could represent a need to prepare, okay? 
Um, it could rep rep represent a failure. So this could represent, like I said before, in the beginning here, it seems like somebody really, really has it together. They understand exactly what they need to do because they're choosing happiness. They're leaving, they're moving on, right? Um, but here, this is where the delay is, and this is the need to, to prepare. This is, you know, making sure that you don't, you're not out of control when you're transitioning into this new space that you're going and you got to stay in control. And, you know, your overarching energy is the Six of Cups. So this could be, you could be dealing with somebody from the past. This could, you could be dealing with somebody, uh, you know, that you had a recent reunion with. Somebody from the past could be coming in, okay? That's kind of shaking things up from where you are or what, what you need to do. So, uh, Leo, what we're going to do, we're going to, let me look behind here a little bit and try to get a little bit more clarification on what's going on. And you're extended. We're going to look a little deeper into this. Try to figure out who some of these people are. Okay. All right. And you're showing up again. So this is definitely about you. Okay. All right, my love. So in the uh, second portion, the extended version of that, of this, we are going to look a little further. We will pick some angel answers. So I'm going to go ahead and put those up here now. And we'll also get some answers from Archangel Michael from the Oracle deck here. And I was looking at your past reading and it says, Leo, stop bringing your past into your present. Oh, wow. Wow, that was your last one. Stop bringing your past <coughs> into your present. So this definitely could be dealing with someone from your past, okay? We'll look a little further in the extended version. Information pertaining to the extended can be found below. If you want to join the Patreon at the second and third level, you'll get opportunity to see all of the extenders, okay? All right, you guys, meet me on the other side.